Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Gladys Knight recently celebrated her 45th anniversary in show business. Along the way with her group The Pips, she recorded mega hit after mega hit. And by doing so, Gladys established herself as one of the most famous and accomplished soul singers of this century. Today, still looking for new challenges, Gladys returned to Broadway, joining the cast of Smokey Joe's Cafe for a two-week guest appearance. And to no one's surprise, as always, Gladys was a big hit. Has this always been a goal of yours to do? You've done so much to do Broadway. Yeah, it was a dream come true for me. I, I, I was on Broadway when I was seven years old. I, I, I taped the Ted Mack original Amateur Hour. And I felt like I was on Broadway. And I always dreamed about coming back. I said, okay. And, and there was, a, there was a, just a little thing sent out from, my, from me, you know, in my spirit. I want to do Broadway. And this came up for me to come and do it. It's the music that I grew up with. Wonderful. Be I had seen this show, what, five times? <laughs> no. Oh, I got here. Yeah, you know, and it's a wonderful show. The people in it always makes a difference to me. The people in it were just absolutely fantastic, just phenomenal people as well as artists. So when they called me to do it, it was amazing. Those lucky enough to be in attendance on opening night got to see Gladys at her very best. She was excellent. She made the show. She made the show. Uh, everybody come and see Gladys. <laughs> she was good. She was unbelievable. Isn't she? Yeah, she was. Magnificent. Absolutely the best show I have seen on Broadway in the past 10, 15 years. It was thrilling. And your trip from California, was this the highlight of your trip? This was absolutely the highlight. It was fantastic. I loved her. It was great. Were you a fan of Gladys's before tonight? Exactly. Totally. And still am. <laughs> have you ever seen as much talent on one stage? I don't think I have. I saw Ain't Misbehaving years ago, and I was impressed. And I don't get to, to do very many Broadway shows. You know, this is, this is a unique experience for some guy from Kansas. But, uh, but it was, I mean, it, you know, I, I cried five times in the thing. That's the kind of effect Gladys Knight's singing has had on people since she won the grand prize on Ted Mack's original Amateur Hour at age seven. Decades later, her return to Broadway held equal significance. Um, this is really, I, I'm family oriented and I know a real family when I get to be a part of one. And I'm just so grateful and I'm so blessed that uh, I have give, been given, gifted, really, you to be in my life. And it, it really does make a difference, you know. And, and I just appreciate everything from, from one end to the other. And it, I, I change, too, when I come here. I do. I change to somebody else. <laughs> and so is the rest of the cast of Smokey Joe's Cafe. Because when Gladys joins the show, the energy level soars. And I've seen Smokey Joe's now about 10 times. Yeah. But I haven't seen the elevation that I saw tonight yeah. from everybody, yeah. top to bottom. Um, it's true, and I've said it several times. Uh, when Gladys comes to the stage, physically, as we say, hits the stage, everything changes. The atmosphere changes. Every, everybody feels different. They feel lifted up. They feel elevated. They feel spiritually infused. That sounds very intellectual, but I mean, I really mean that. Um, I play differently. Uh, it's just who she is. Does she inspire you to go to the next level? Yeah, because she, she makes us come up and try to at least get that close to her level, which is Phenomenal. I mean, that woman is a blessing on earth, and we, we all are so touched. By the end of the show and Stand By Me, we're almost all in tears just at the fact that that's Gladys Knight, and we're getting to be a part of her. And she calls us her family, and we call her ours, and that's, that's an amazing thing. I know that you've been 
Gladys brings you to some kind of ultra gigantic kind of thing that you cannot explain. Her presence just on stage, not only is she just a wonderful star, but her spirit helps us all on stage. Besides her great voice and electric stage presence, it's obvious that Gladys Knight has some special qualities that only a select group of entertainers possess. I talked to a man from Kansas that was here tonight. Really? And he told me he didn't even know you were going to be here tonight. Really? He said when you were singing Stand By Me, he couldn't stop crying. I don't... Now, is what, so what, is, what is it about Gladys Knight? Do you think that has this effect on people? I don't know. <laughs> I hope, I hope what it is is that they really feel my love for them. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I was talking to somebody the other day. I said, you know, People don't really know. They always telling me, we, you don't know how much we love you. But they don't know how much I really love them. It's not rhetoric. It's not something I'm supposed to do because I'm a public figure. I mean, I feel like people are a blessing to me. They're a gift. I, I really do understand that. Yeah. I also interviewed Deborah Cox recently. Did you? And she said you were her role model. Oh, work it. You, you know, and I, I feel honored about that. You know, some people don't like that. Say, I ain't no role model. Because there's a responsibility that goes along with that, and I feel honored that she feels that way. Many of the current cast members at Smokey Joe's grew up listening to Gladys Knight's music, which made sharing the stage with her a very special event. You're the lucky guy tonight. How did it feel singing one-on-one -on -one with Gladys Knight? Well, first of all, you have to understand, when I was 10 years old, I told my mother that one day I was going to be singing with Gladys Knight. I've been in love with her that long. So the very first time that she came here, I'm me who's supposed to be like the essence of cool. I freaked out on stage because I was standing this close to Gladys Knight. Enjoy working with Gladys this evening? Oh my God, I enjoy working with Gladys at any time. I enjoy just talking to Gladys. She doesn't have to sing for me. You know, she's an incredible person. The art we sing, the art we well done. I got to tell you, Don, I love that yacht. You used to look so cute in your white sailor suit. Oh, Gladys is our girl. She is she is just part of our family. I mean, we loved having all the other stars, and it was wonderful being on stage with them. But Gladys is just family. And, you know, our hearts kind of meld together. Song melds together. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. Is your career, other than, I know you keep recording, and your albums get better and better. Mm -hmm. What's the secret there? I don't know. It's just my heart and my music. I just did an inspirational album. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Gladys Knight, Many Different Roads. And um, it's on Many Roads Records. And uh, it's, it's a project I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And here it is that we got it done. And you sure did. And yeah. the cast at Smokey Joe's. Oh. I mean, what talent. They are awesome. Now, they really are. They keep saying that you bring them to the next level. Do they bring you to the next yes, level? Yes, they do. They certainly do. They are so supportive. And they are so loving, and they are so fun. You know, they are so much fun. They just lift you right up. One of the most misused terms over the past decade has been the term diva. But if you want to know the true meaning of the word, you need to look no further than Gladys Knight. For a special edition, I'm Mickey Burns. Hi, I'm Wayne Cribet. You're watching Special Edition. We'll be back in a few minutes.